Yes! Dude, they go at mock speeds. Is that in the penis? Violence and knowledge is not helping, man. <laughs> this dude is whipping his butt. What's going on? Oh, this is a street fight now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do episode three of The God of High School. In the last episode, looks like our boy Jen Marie got into a little trouble. He interfered in a fight in which Kang Mizook was literally dominating his opponent. That's the point where Mizook took off one of the wraps on his arms and was literally beating the shit out of his opponent. It was really intense, it was really nice to look at, but at the same time, it looks like it was a little too much for Mori. I'm not exactly sure what kind of power Mori has. He's definitely not an ordinary high school student. He stood up to Mizook, I think toe to toe pretty much encountered one of Manzu's pretty much enraged and crazy moves. I mentioned in the last episode, it looks like Kang was having some kind of mental breakdown when he was fighting. I don't know, but it looks like he was in his head, had a little PTSD moment, and he just kind of went berserk. And I don't think the opponent that he was fighting was literally in his mind. He was literally fighting a demon that he had or some kind of like past trauma. Even so, the sad thing is, it looks like our boy Murray is in some trouble though because of interfering in a tournament match. He might have jeopardized his position. He might get expelled or kicked out. Uh, normally that's what would happen. I mean, that's like the worst thing you can ever do is jump in someone else's match and interfere. Unless it's like a WWE match because you can kind of get away with it if the referee's not looking. But besides that, like everyone has all eyes on this dude. So I don't think that's going to happen. But we all know he is the main character. And as the main character, you do get to bend the rules a lot. So hopefully we get to see a little bit more of him. I'm 100% sure we will. I mean, come on now. It'd be too kind of stupid if he just leaves the tournament right now. Um, um, that'd be kind of tragic. But you know, it's only one way to find out, and that's to just jump right in and see. So, yeah, let's just see what happens next. Thank you for watching, and let's jump in. Peep, peep. Enter the second day tournament. Let's go. What, what about my boy Marie? Oh, this is like some cold stuff. Some freaky stuff. The Turks. That's the babe right there. That's Dream Girl. Ooh. This must be a Pokemon Center. What? Oh shoot, what happened to him? Something's going through PTSD, something's going through his mind. Oh, because of who? Look at this guy looking like Ty from Digimon. Start working out, man. So I can do that too. Ooh, is she a boxer or a brawler? And a sword on work on her? There you go, let's go. Off the top rope, a swanton bomb. It's crazy. Wow. A pro wrestling champion. Yeah, that makes sense. You're just still right bottom. What is your dream? It's okay. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't know, how would you fight a wrestler with a sword though? You get slammed a lot. Oh, whoa! What is she gonna do? The bloody bomb. Whoa! Was that a DDT guy? An F5? Girl is so athletic. Oh, look at her. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this is tight. She's using her hand like a blade. Damn, dude, you can't fight that, man. That's main character vibes. You can't fight that. Oh, she, she don't know, though. Oh, no! She won? Wow. Uh, yeah. Ooh, dude, that's a cheap shot, but the match never started, so. <laughs> he came right back. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> Where? Normally he would, but he's alright. This guy's cool. <laughs> 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 
、フルーツは疲労回復に役立つ。そいつを食って、明日の試合に。I wonder if he put something in those fruits, but maybe not. Thank you. 持ち出したんですか ?He broke those out. Too soon for those. That's why they're elected. Too soon for who? I knew it! I knew something was up with those fruits! It's not a normal food. Don't eat it. The real deal or what? Oh no. Don't tell me you went to the hospital. Nice. This must be the guy he's trying to protect and help. Donald Trump signed something that would help. That's what real friends do. <laughs> Preliminary tournament. Hundway. Ooh, the guy with the book. I know it. I bet you he can like learn a person's stance in the middle of battle and win. But that's not gonna work. He's going straight for it. Oh, what the bat! Yikes, that is so smart. Ah, uh, oh, ah, ugh. See that coming. Damn, dude, he got the UI! Ultra Instinct going on! You might have knowledge of violence, but this dude is standing still. Oh, he's powerful. He's strong, but this dude's fast. Oh, no way, dude. Woo! See, it's not over yet. With my body itself. He's gonna finish it. <sighs> oh! What? He gonna finish it. I mean, come on, bro, man. You're just getting hit. You're just getting attacked. I mean, if it wasn't an anime. No, no, no. Get up. All of life is about. Yeah, man. You literally can't afford it because your friend can't afford it. Do it again. All right, here we go. Black tortoise. Nice. Wow, what is up with this guy? You know what? I really like Red Track Shoot. Okay, let's go. Dude, they're going mock speed. Is that in the penis? Violence and knowledge is not helping, man. <laughs> this dude is whipping his butt. What's going on? Oh, oh, this is a street fight now. He gets up, dude. He gets up. Damn, he couldn't even do his last dance. That was a good fight! Yeah. Do he even have his power left? He gotta knock him down one time, baby. Let's go! Oh, so considerate! Wait a minute, that's it? Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? What? Are you serious? Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> Come on, you still no chance for real. No, that purple shit again. What is this? They got stands in here? I don't even watch JoJo. Yeah. Dude, he got a cypher, dude. He can kill you with that. Wow, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Jim. 
Tiger Cub. The Tiger Cub. Hey everyone, let's end of episode three of The God of High School. We saw all three main characters fight a battle and each one of them was pretty intense. The most shocking one to me was Jen Maurice. Literally the first five seconds my mouth was on the ground because I was like, did he really just win that easily? Like that was kind of super anticlimactic. That's like the most anticlimactic thing I've seen in the anime in a long time. Mira, like her fight with the wrestler was pretty dope. Just to start it, just the concept of having a wrestler like that in a tournament and actually pull off solid wrestling moves. I've seen her, I think she did the Swanton Bomb. It's like a move that Jeff Hardy, Jeff and Matt Hardy used to do. I think she did that. I know she did the Rock Bottom. She did like a couple of DDTs and that was pretty awesome. I like that. In general, wrestlers are pretty athletic. The one thing we learned about Mira is that she doesn't really need a sword. She can use her hand as a sword. I pretty much, I bet any other, maybe her legs too, as a sword style. Like she's getting very sharp and just slicing and dicing the wrestler up. Which sucks for her, the wrestler, because I kind of did like her, I like her personality. And like her main goal, the wrestler's main goal, was to be able to afford a lifestyle where she can be surrounded by a harem of men. And who else doesn't want that in her life? A harem of men surrounding you, a cool one, a hot one, a successful one, painting your toenails, feeding you food. I mean, that's kind of awesome for Dawei. Looks like he is super nice. I think there's something in him that makes him super nice. I'm pretty sure he might have like some kind of tragic backstory or something like that in which the only reason why he's super nice is because he's had like a really hard childhood. I'm not exactly sure why he's super nice, but he does extend his hand out to people when, nor and not normal people would do that in certain situations. Like he was in a tournament and he literally had the wide opening to, to, to attack his opponent. And instead of doing that, he reached out and said, hey man, wake up, get up so we can fight normally. And that's, that was pretty dope. He did get more of a glimpse of his motive. It looks like there's somebody he's trying to protect and somebody he's trying to help. There's a guy that's in the hospital. I believe he might have cancer, I'm not sure, but he looks like he's bald. He has a cap on his hair and he's kind of weak. He might have cancer or might have some kind of terminal illness. Might not be terminal because it does sound like he'd be cured, but it's going to cost a lot more money than what they already have. His sister and everyone else around him is taking on more jobs to afford the hospital bills and it's not cutting it. So Dewey is actually taking on other jobs just so he can suffice and pay for his friend or his brother or whoever that is, which is very admirable. But at the same time, like, damn, dude, that's kind of tough. Like, whoever it is, it's very important to him in his life and I think he wants nothing more than to save that person. The fight that uh, Dewey had against the tracksuit guy was very intense. The dude, the tracksuit guy who wore all red, like, in general, if, you, if you're fighting on the street and you see a guy wear a one color tracksuit, you need to run the hell away. Don't fight him. Don't even attack him. Just like bow to the dude and get the fuck out because nine times out of ten, he's going to kick your ass. Unless you're Dewey or you're a big guy with a big afo who's blind and has blue shirt and shrunks and you live in a tower. That's the only time you can fight a guy in a tracksuit and maybe win. Maybe. Uh, unless if the other guy that you're fighting in tracksuit doesn't poke out the lights in the tower so you can see and get blinded and whatever. And you might not understand that reference, but if you do, you're pretty cool. But in general, the dude with the tracksuit was actually pretty tight. I really like the, I really like the fighting in this, dude. They get like gritty in here, dude. He was like punching the hell out of them, just like straight to the face. That we was not playing. He was going ham and he was doing other stances. He did turtle stance, black turtle stance, and then like a, uh, like some kind of bird stance too. And he had four stances, he only did three. Uh, he only had enough to do three. To do the tracks, he had to give up. Like he was dead. Like he was like, whoa, I was winning at the beginning of this match, but I underestimated my opponent and he just literally laid out on the floor. Uh, Dawi is the man. He is that dude. Don't worry about him. And after all the fights, we kind of figure out the only way that Maury can stay in the tournament is if he fights the commissioner, which we expect to be some kind of high level rank dude. And he does, he is. He has like an astronomical power level of 25,000 or 2,500, but it's still way above everyone else. And I don't really watch JoJo, but I know there's this thing called a stand where it's like this little monster behind you. It looked like he had a stand, like some great stuff came out of the commissioner, like some purple stuff in the last episode that came out of Kang. And literally like some kind of like Joker-like monster with a scythe came out and would start swinging it on the stage. I don't know if everyone else saw it, I guess they did, but long story short, the commissioner is not as weak as people think he is. And the commissioner is supposedly stronger than the yellow hair guy. But he was getting kind of pushed around until uh, he kind of got subdued by everyone else in the Turks. And I guess the finale in the episode is we find out that Marie has some kind of 
legendary background or at least his grandpa did like he's related to his grandpa who has like some kind of background that Marie that that elevates Marie. Marie is the legendary tiger cub and the way that it was found out is because the, I guess the leader of the Turks or whatever gave him some kind of fruit that he ate and I guess he survived and by him surviving coming to the match and basically winning and beating a commissioner a person with a commissional level means he might be destined to be a tiger cub. Now that's cool and all. He got some kind of legendary background, but what, what was that in the beginning? Something about like some kind of blood sacrifice, some kind of god sacrifice, and the fact that the Tiger Cub will never leave the sight of the people who runs this tournament. That's like we have him now. We're not letting him go. In the beginning of the episode, there's like some kind of cult-like activity happening, uh, which is kind of awkward because cults are not cool, man. Cults are not cool. Cults are cool, I guess, but not cults that need your blood and they need some kind of blood sacrifice to appease some god. Cause that's kind of, it's kind of cutting you, man. It's kind of cutting you. I don't like that. But overall, episode three of the God of High School has some really nice highlights. The fighting was sick. Was super awesome. I really like the punching style and the kicking styles. I really like how every fighter so far is unique and have some kind of backstory and some kind of reasoning for this. And I know it's kind of corny, but I do hope that every new fighter that's introduced uh, in the tournament at least explain some of their backstory, have a little flashback. Cause I really like seeing what the wrestler wanted for her winnings. And I want to see what everyone else wants for their winning. Cause why else we enter a tournament for the God of high school? If you, you know, you can't be the king of high school when you come back and you have like an awesome story to tell. So anyway, that was my little review and reaction to this show so far and I'm liking it and I can't wait for the next one. And until then, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Beep, beep.